Hey class, Mr. G here. Today we're going to be getting into some math and how to build this more into your classroom for the wonderful future. All right, so for today's class, we're going into Gravity Sketch. Gravity Sketch is a absolutely free 3D modeling program that we're going to be getting into and you can create all sorts of different fun stuff from inside of this space. Now for this one, what we're going to be doing, we've got our space in front of us. You know, I, I, get, I have a math teacher, one of my buddies, he, me and him talk about all these different ways of how to incorporate math into VR and how we can use the VR to help further facilitate to our students the understanding of what they got to do in this space. So over here, this is very similar to Tilt Brush, Open Brush, uh, Google's, Google's drawing software there. So you're using a lot of the same controls. You use those two interior controllers to grab, pull the space. You can use the color, grab it, and you can change which color you want. Uh, and then at the top here, you have basic, you can go to reflective material, tune material, flat material, or clay material. So you got a lot more 3D elements in this one. From here, we also have our brushes, so we can pick which shape that we want to make. We can also pull up our tutorial blocks. So if I need to go to school to figure out how to create and draw stuff, there's little videos built in here so you can figure out how to draw stuff. But the thing that we're going to do today, and I wish I had a square polygon. So we have, ah, oh, good, a block. So we're going to set our block right here. Set one block here. I'm gonna to click to duplicate my block because we're talking about how we can take things on the X axis and change the overall shape so that we have. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to showcase to our students that by having these blocks that two of these blocks equal one of these blocks. And then we can also change different colors of what one is a positive and one is a negative. What we're trying to do is we're trying to create a space where we can say that X number of these blocks equals this object over here. And what we're trying to do is we're going to float them in the ground. So yes, it's underneath. Grab two at once. It's easy to just grab my other block. So we have like one is a positive space that you have a positive and negative space of one block, the other two blocks on the other side. Two of these blocks are positive. Two of these blocks are negative and how they fit into a space. So basically if we're doing a tiling pattern, because that's what we're looking at, we're looking at the way that the tile is set up on the floor. These pieces relate to each other. Are they, are they two positives or two negatives? And it was, it was a fascinating thing. And he's like, how can we, how can we illustrate this? I said, give me a few minutes and I'll draw something up for us. Being able to come in here and actually draw the different components of, let's say we wanted to have our just these grid pieces where we're, we're controlling these blocks in space where there's like a positive block, a negative block, and where the students can then use these as manipulatives where we give them that the kids can then come in and adjust that they want to grab these four blocks at once because we need these four blocks here and we're going to put them on a different space. We can manipulate each one individually and move them around to where we can conduct where if we have two blocks two positive, two negative on one side, and we want to balance our equation by putting two blocks on either side. So we balance out our equation. It doesn't have to be in the same linear perspective, but how we balance that out, or then we want to show that we're offsetting that by adding two more negatives to one po to two positives so that we're balancing out the equation. This, there's all these little math components that you guys can add in here to elevate it up. And, and how do we do this? Art. Art is the one who came and, and solved this problem for us. And we can take that and we can adjust the where we are in space uh, and move that around so the students can then see how all these things add up. Again, you're using an X, Y, and the Z axis, which is this middle one. Go over how all these things add merit to each other and how and how all these different pieces apply. So, But having kids being able to manipulate objects to help the learning process a little more. You, you've added these adaptive technologies, create a much better learning environment for these students to use. I just think it's a, it's a great uh, solution to a common problem that we have. Again, a lot of students have issues in math. Um, and that's, that's not just a, a Georgia thing. That's a, a nationwide thing that students have several issues across the board in learning math or learning math concepts. Uh, and sometimes it's mixing it up where they can use these as manipulatives to let's say that we want to add two and two on the other side to balance it out or let's say that we want to add four in here how do we balance these out well all you have to do is subtract one group from another to have it play over to the other side add that in to 
show what we've what we've subtracted what we've added in just using that as as a methodology of learning i think is a great thing so we have these manipulative tools in our disposal to create a world where the students can learn better because they can visually see and tactically feel the objects in front of them so you know i'm, I'm going to keep working on this and coming up with different aspects of it trying to get more educational benefits out of this task i hope for you guys stay tuned for that so let's go ahead and wrap up class like we always do don't forget to like subscribe share all various platforms we want to get your message out there to as many teachers, friends, and students that we possibly can. Don't forget that if you guys had a question, comment, or concern, ask those, ask those questions in the comments below. Just you know, raise your hand, drop it down below, and happy to answer those questions from you guys. So stay tuned for all that so you guys can get some, uh, some new knowledge and enjoyment, and I can't wait to see you guys then. Talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Later, guys.